Kendra the Viking has been off grid for so long that she lost her clothes. That's right, this female YouTuber is so clickbaity that all her thumbnails and on all her videos she almost has no clothes on. Today we are exploring Kendra the Viking and how these body slutting types of videos get a lot of views and make a lot of money. Kendra Peach, also known as Kendra the Viking, is an American social media influencer, a content creator, who lives an off-grid lifestyle. Here are the key details about her. Her real name is Kendra Peach, though she goes by Kendra the Viking online. She's around 30 years old as of 2023 and is an American national residing in Washington state and most recently Idaho. Kendra has a popular YouTube channel with over 290,000 subscribers where she documents her off-grid living experiences. Some of her recent YouTube videos include titles like Alone Living Off-Grid, of OF Girl Living Off-Grid and I Live Alone Off-Grid Daily Life. In addition to YouTube, she is active on other platforms like Instagram and has an OnlyFans account. Her her content focuses on showcasing her alternative of the grid lifestyle, often featuring revealing or suggestive attire themes. While Kendra does portray an off-grid lifestyle persona in her content, there are no substantiated details about her actually living full-time in an isolated off-grid situation for an extended period. Her videos and online presence indicate she's portraying a particular persona and lifestyle for content purposes, not that she has abandoned all clothing due to extreme long-term living conditions. Say what? While her channel's premises is about off-grid living, many Many of her thumbnails and titles like Kendra the Viking Naked seem to prioritize highlighting her body over the lifestyle content itself. There's an actual video from her channel titled OF Girl Living Off Grid playing into the OnlyFans girl persona and likely using that suggestive theme to pick viewer interest. The analytics data shows she has a large subscriber base of 390,000 and high engagement rates, suggesting the strategy of using her physique as a draw is effective in driving views. So in summary, while portraying an off-grid persona, Kendra appears to frequently showcase her body and lean into provocative themes thumbnails as a way to capitalize on viewer interest and increase the popularity of her YouTube content. This tactic, despite criticism of body shaming, allows her to attract a larger audience to her channel. Many of her thumbnails are showing off her body, her breasts and her peach figure and the content itself is her performing chores in skimpy clothes. Now does she ever perform chores? She does and always in skimpy clothes. She shows how to plant different species and when she fixes chicken coops and some of her stuff is actually educational. But she sure doesn't get clit from that because her titles are all related to living alone off-grid, supermodel lives alone off-grid, OF models living off-grid, etc. And she and this type of content are now procreating. Too bad all her new non-OF content is nothing but clickbait of recycled content and 50 simps commenting how much they love her. There's nothing off grid of survival about her or her husband. One woman's wilderness, a Canadian from Ontario also living on a farm, also takes advantage of these same predictable content. Just tons of cleavage and lags and not so much informational content. But hers, she gets tons of views and comments. These guys are so thirsty over her that it's sad. This guy wrote her a poem, a friggin poem, and she didn't even reply. <laughs> How the heck does Kendra live alone off grid in many of her videos if she's if her husband. Duh. And then there's the same for off grid Jake and I call with the same bullshit just online a little longer. Too bad all Kendra the Viking non-OF content is nothing but clickbait of recycled content and 50 simps commenting how much they love her and simps abound. The term simp often refers to someone, typically a man, who shows excessive sympathy, attention and submission towards another person, usually a woman, in hopes of gaining affection or a sexual relationship, despite the interest not being reciprocated. Yes, I'm a simp. These guys come out of the woodwork at these videos. It is an insulting slang term you should criticize are seen as being overly desperate for a woman's attention and approval, often by doing too much for her without receiving anything in return. The origins trace back to shortening the word simpleton, implying someone who is foolish or not intelligent. It gained popularity in rap hip-hop culture in the 80s and 90s as an antonym for pimps. Then I'm a motherfucking
contemporary usage portrays a simp as someone who puts themselves in a subservient position to a romantic interest, disregarding their self-respect and boundaries in pursuit of affection. It can also extend beyond romantic context to imply someone who is overly sensitive, emotional, or submissive in general. The term is often used in a derogatory, misogynistic way to shame men for showing vulnerability or emotional towards women. That was Waterfront Gurus, and I'll see you in another video.